host, Reality Adjacent Programming, is proud to present another episode of Is the Answer That You Wrote on Your Card the Same as the Answer That I Wrote on My Card? With Dana Powers, Mary Weiss, Fred Applegate, Tyler Rhodes, yours truly, George Ackles, and Marissa and Ian Hall. As we play the star studded Big Money, Is the Answer That You Wrote on Your Card the Same as the Answer That I Wrote on My Card? And here's the Welcome. Oh man, we got through the pandemic. We're on our third show from from being in a cave for about a year and a half. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen out there in Facebook land. Thanks for tuning in to Facebook Live for Is the Answer That You Wrote on Your Card the Same as the Answer That I Wrote on My Card? Now, thank you. Thank you. Let me remind you, we are live and anything can happen. We've got a, a lot of fun stuff in store. We got some new technology tonight, so you never know what's going to happen. Okay, now uh, we appreciate you tuning into uh, Compost Reality Adjacent Programming or Crap TV, as we like to say. At Crap TV, it's our goal to one day have someone in your household say, "Hey, turn that crap off." That's our goal. <laughs> Yeah, we need canned laughter for that because that's never going to get a laugh. Uh, uh, listen, share the show right now. Share it with your friends. Play along on your phones. Uh, uh, Chit-chat with us. Uh, we, we love hearing. I see Billy Aqua Via, Viva out there. Uh, uh, Peg is out there. All the regulars are tuning in tonight. Sue Willis. Okay, Sue Willis. I've known Sue Willis since third grade at Woodland Elementary School. Okay, so let's... Uh, Let's get on. Well, oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, 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 no. I forgot to tell you. I forgot to mention. Listen, we don't want you to forget. Not that I'm going to let you, even though I did. Our audio drama, Carcerum, is finished and ready to be binged. All of season one, all 31 episodes, you can binge right now. Please tell your friends. It's a pretty damn good show. Okay? All right. Good. All right. Um... Let's let's get on with the show. What, what do you say we get on with the show? We'll start the evening off by introducing our celebrity guest panelist. Okay, here we go. This gentleman has been here a few times now. He's a big time star of Broadway. Uh, he was in The Producers, Young Frankenstein, The Ferryman, among others. He's uh, been the star of TV in New Hearts, Seinfeld. Ooh, and <laughs> Growing pains, and oh, and he's in the and he's in the film, the ever popular, Spaced Invaders. Oh, look it up, kids, if it's from the nineties. Mr. Fred Applegate's here. Fred Applegate and his lovely wife Sherry, Sherry Frosty, sitting next to Fred. Next time I'll have an intro for you, sir. I apologize for that. You're 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 helping out this evening, Sherry. Okay, muted, muted. I'm muted. There we go. How's that? You're helping out this evening, Sherry. Yes, I am. I'm coming up with good ideas. <laughs> Appreciate you being here. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, welcome, Fred and Sherry Applegate. Now, this next gal, she's pretty much a regular on the show now. You've heard and seen her in hundreds of commercials and TV shows over the years. Most recently, though, she just appeared on Shameless, on the show Shameless. Let's welcome back Mary Weiss, ladies and gentlemen. Mary Weiss. I have my pen. Oh, and multicolored pens, too. Mm. Gotta make it interesting. Ah, and we appreciate it. We'll, we'll see how things go. Another regular is back tonight. You've heard this guy in dozens of commercials and video games out there. Lately, he's uh, been directing video games for some of the biggest game companies out there that we're not allowed to mention. Mr. Tyler Rhodes. Oh. Tyler Rhodes. Oh, what? Oh. oh he's a St. Louis Cardinals fan. And that just means uh, I have to say you suck. Okay. You know, this next guy is our announcer on the show. You can hear him on several video games and commercials, his own self. And he, too, is a big-time video game director. 
Mr. George Ackles. George, well, always good to have you here. Always, always happy to be here, Bill, and I'll tell you, I'm looking forward to when that debt's paid off. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah I, I understand. <laughs> now, it, now, Shane, is George going to be the judge tonight, or are you going to be the judge tonight? Who's who's judging tonight? Uh, I, I, I'm going to. I'll say Shane is going to be the judge tonight. We'll, we'll give George the night off, and you can just worry about uh, getting all the right answers. Okay? <laughs> okay. Well, Shane seems to be pretty excited about it. Let's move on. Uh, we all love this next gal. She's been with us from the start of the show. Please welcome our very own Lil Dana Powers. <coughs> Dana, always good to hear you. I, I couldn't hear you. What did you say? Say it again. Oh, I said, hi, Bill. Thanks for having me again. Oh, it's good to have you here. We can turn Dana up in my head just a little bit. Right? Oh, and lastly, but certainly not leastly, uh, the crowd favorites are back together again. They were separated for a couple of shows, but they're back together. Y'all know whom I'm talking about. The twins, Ian and Marissa Holmes. We're back. Hey, happy to be here, Bill. Bill. It's good, good to have you, Ian. Yeah, I'm ready for another exciting game of uh, is the answer on your card the same as the answer on my card? <laughs> you know, have another tequila and maybe you'll figure out the title of the show. All right. Well, now let's go to our let's go to our contestants. OK, uh, this uh, this first gal, uh, this. Well, no. Uh, do I have to introduce him in that order, Shane? OK, great. OK. All right. This first gal originally from Japan, now living here in the States, Maiko Singer, along with her husband and interpreter, Daniel Singer. Let's welcome the singers. Maiko, it's great to have you on the show. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I am, I am Maiko from Japan. Thank you for having me. Okay, there, there we go. <laughs> you know, I got, I got. How can we complicate the show just a little bit more? And I'm loving having Michael on the show. Michael, welcome to the show. I hope you win $55 tonight. <laughs> now, this next guy hails from Tijuana, Indiana. He's a very good friend of mine. Let's welcome him, Mr. Dave Summers. Dave, welcome. Now, Dave, I, usually I say, tell us a little bit about yourself, but I'm going to tell everybody a little bit about you. <clears throat> You're an independent sales rep for Stein Seed Company. He's the pastor of Fletcher's Lake Church and Grass Creek United Methodist Churches. <coughs> Excuse me. He's the assistant cross-country coach at Casson High School, sub-school bus driver at Casson High School, director-in-chief baker of Loaves of Love Bread Ministry, Dottie's husband for almost 44 years, father of four kids, grandfather of 15 kids, great-grandfather, one kid, one-month-old little girl, vice president of the Grass Creek Lions Club. Holy mackerel, Dave. And are you... Are you still you still got a pig farm? You got your pig farmer too? Actually, we just got a. It's, I sold it to my son Nick, which you know Nick. And he's I know got, Nick. He's, yes, he has so, just a so Nick, Nick takes care of the pigs. I can't make any pig jokes tonight for you. <laughs> Dave Dave is in our little film that we shot out in Grass Creek, Indiana, called Best Man in Grass Creek. Tune in, find it on Amazon. It's out there somewhere. Dave, it's great having you on the show. Is there anything that you enjoy watching? To say it's great to be here. Okay, fantastic. All right. Well, why don't we start the show? <clears throat> so we flip the coin. Here comes here comes some new technology, folks. We flip the coin, and Dave, you get to uh, you get to go first in a round in the blue round.
Let's go. Let's go. Look at the boys. <laughs> They're cheering, <laughs> cheering in the bay. It's like the, it's like the bullpen at the Cubs game. <laughs> okay, we've been working on that all day. Okay, so all right, everybody plays this round. So get your pens at the ready. Dave, here's your first question. Oh, this is uh, this is kind of a personal question. My grandson Will, my grandson Will is quite an impressive baby. Well, that goes without saying. Mm -hmm. While most kids his age are still learning to walk, Will can already blank. Now, some, of, some of the people here know my grandson, Dave, so I don't know if that's going to work for you or get yeah, yeah, it. He's the way she did here, pal. Say that again. He probably has a gift of gab, so I would probably have to stay pumped. Well, don't pumped. say anything yet. Don't say anything yet. Not yet. You've got to wait till everybody writes down their answers. I didn't really hear what you said. I'm hoping nobody else okay. heard. Okay. So hold on to your answer for right now. Uh, everybody else, uh, did, did you all hear the, uh, the question? My grandson, Will, is quite an Say it again. Baby. Okay, here we go. My grandson, Will, is quite an impressive baby. While most kids his age are still learning to walk, he's 16 months old. Will can already blink. Okay, you got that, Mary? Summers. All right, you got an answer there. My grandson Will is quite an impressive baby. While most kids his age are still learning to walk, Will can already. And now tell me. Okay, assuming and knowing that he's your grandson. Yes. And knowing your gift to gab and your willingness to speak out, I'd have okay. to say talk. Talk. He can already talk. Okay. All right. That's a that's a reasonable answer. Uh, I think I know what a couple people are going to say, and you'll be surprised by it, Dave. But uh, let's go to uh, let's go to Fred and Sherry Applegate. Fred and Sherry Applegate, uh, you know, you, well, you actually haven't met young Will in person yet, but you have heard some stories. Uh, Will Will can already do what, Fred and Sherry? Well, I was going to say um, blend a margarita. <laughs> yeah. But uh, you said to stay away from inappropriate things. Yeah. So we said, surf, surf. Oh, surf. That's close. You're very close, Fred, actually. Uh, but that is not a match. Dave, Dave is looking for talk. So let's move on to, uh, to Mary Weiss. Mary, uh, what did you say? Well, yeah, most again, kids are learning to walk, but Will is already doing what? Well, again, considering who his grandfather is, I yeah. first I was going to say drink, <laughs> but then I thought it, you know walking is is you know pretty you know what would be impressive is if he was already driving. 
Oh, he's already driving. Okay. Oh. No, unfortunately, unfortunately, that is not Sorry, a match. Dave. Dave, gosh darn it. <laughs> I think you I think you had a really good answer here, okay? All right. Um, here's here's what I'm loving the most. Everyone's comparing him to the grandfather instead of his parents. <laughs> <laughs> But let's go to Tyler Rhodes. Tyler, you you know you know Will and his parents. What what would you say? What do you think he's already doing? I do. Well, you know, uh, my initial reaction was kind of close to what Mary said. I, I was thinking at first uh, that we would uh, drive Bill to his prostate exam. <laughs> to a prostate exam. Oh, but he's but then, he's a good boy. He's but a then, good boy. then I thought, you know what? I know his father. He can probably. Throw a 98 mile an hour two seamer. <laughs> okay. right, the man with the baseball hat mm -hmm. came up with the two seamer. Ah, oh, Dave, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, you've been watching the show. You should know better. <laughs> You're right. Uh, you'll, you'll pick common sense answer. Yeah, yeah, the common <laughs> sense answer. All right, uh, who are we at? Oh, George Eccles. George, you know what now? Uh, uh, Dave, George is a sensible human being. He has a young daughter of his own. George, what did you say? Well, you know, Bill, uh, originally uh, I thought to myself, well, what would be really exceptional uh, for young? Young Will's an exceptional young man, clearly. And mm -hmm. I, I thought to myself, well, you know, perhaps perhaps he can he can river dance. But, but, that, but that, no, you know, that's that's maybe a little a little beyond him. But equally impressive, perhaps uh, I said skateboard. 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 Skateboard, I believe, is the definitive answer. Today. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll have to get that video out and get it on there next week. Okay, I'm sorry. Talk is not a match, uh, Dave. Uh, you're coming up empty here. Um, little Dana Powers. Now, Dana, Dana's a sensible young woman, and uh, she, might, she might be able to help you out here. Dana. You want to give me a home run? Well, it's funny that you said that because <laughs> I said that Will was going to hit a home run. Oh, right. Hit a home run! Oh, oh, <laughs> you should have gone with your instincts. <laughs> yep, you're right. <laughs> Not a match. Not a match. Okay. Let's go to the twins. Now, listen. These two, they know their, their nephew. Uh, Marissa has taught him sign language and all this. Stuff. Ian, Ian actually is the one who taught him how to skateboard. So, uh, Ian and Marissa, what do you say? He's looking for talk. Well, Bill, as me and Auntie Rissa found out recently when we had to babysit Young Will, he's already <laughs> able to open a credit card in his name. <laughs> really? <laughs> His father's a financial advisor. I mean, that, that makes perfect sense. Well, let's see. Dave, I'm sorry, Dave. You didn't come up. I, I, I kind of thought you'd get at least one or two. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you might. But you didn't get anything. You got the big two say. So let's see. Let's see what uh, Maiko says. Let's see what Maiko says. Uh, okay, Maiko, uh, I'm going to go over and get you. I'm going to go over here, guys. Uh, here we go. Listen up. Uh, Dave, this this might have been a better question for you. Okay, Dave? So okay, let's see how okay this goes. I'll listen. All right, Michael. Farmer John. Oh, look at that. See, Dave, you should should have gone with A. Yep. Farmer John. I'm going to go slow for you, Daniel. Farmer John loves his pigs more than anything else. His wife is actually getting a little jealous. He loves them so much that he's been letting his pigs blank with them every night. See, Dave, this might have... He's, he's been blanking what with the pigs every night? Uh, I'll tell you again. Here we go. Farmer John loves his pigs more than anything else. His wife is actually getting a little jealous. He loves those pigs so much that he's been letting them blank with them every night. He's been letting the pigs blank with them Every 
thought for sure you'd get this question, Dave. <laughs> okay, panelists, everybody's playing on this one. Give me a thumbs up when you have a question, uh, when you have an answer. I'm sorry. Okay, Farmer John loves his pigs more than anything else. His wife is actually getting jealous. He loves them so much that he's been letting his pigs blank with them every night. We got Ann O'Donnell Gardner out there. Joe Ramos is back in, in, in the thing. Uh, okay, we got a lot of good answers out there on the, on the Facebook. I think everybody's ready. Is everybody ready? Okay. All right, Michael, I'm coming back to you, Michael. Okay. So, Daniel, you and Michael have talked it over, correct? Okay. And so, so let me give it to you. I don't know. She seems to, she seems to <laughs> like her answer. Farmer John loves his pigs more than anything else. His wife is actually getting jealous. He loves them so much that he's been letting his pigs blank with them every night. What do you say, Michael? Sleep with them. Sleep with them? Sleep with them. <laughs> Take that for how you want. <laughs> Sleep with them. Okay. We might have to come to the judges for this one. I'm not sure. Okay. All right. All right. So let's go to Mr. Fred Applegate. Fred, Michael's looking for, uh, he's been letting his pigs sleep with them every night. A reasonable answer. Well, we were going to say, watch Jeopardy. Watch Jeopardy. <laughs> but we came up with. Sleep, there you go. Oh, wow. yeah, that's a win. That's a win, Michael. Congratulations. <laughs> I mean, after watching Dave, I'm just thrilled we got an answer to that, man. There we go. All right, let's go down to uh, Mary Weiss. Mary Weiss, she's looking for sleep with them. What did you say? I said sleep. Sleep. Just, wait, just sleep, you filthy bastards. <laughs> just sleep. <laughs> See, Dan? See? You didn't need to explain it. <laughs> okay. That's two matches. Very good. Let's go down to Tyler Rhodes. Tyler Rhodes. Sleep seems to be the definitive answer here. Bill, let's keep the party going with sleep. Sleep. Okay. <laughs> oh. Man, I feel bad for Dave. I feel you all betrayed Dave. <laughs> I, I'm just totally right, bro. <laughs> all right. Let's go down to George Ackles. George? Did you also say sleep? You're muted. You're muted, George. You're muted. Oh, cl uh, classic error. Oh. Uh, you know, uh, oh. you know, it seems that Fred and I had a similar first instinct on here. You know, I was gonna say, uh, watch the wheel, uh, but uh, but then uh, you know, I, I, I'm sorry, I thought I said, uh, I said sleep. Sleep. Yeah. 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 I'm getting annihilated, Bill. I am loving this. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go to Dana. Dana, you gonna make it five for Michael? I am. Oh my goodness, sleep again. <laughs> now, Dana, you do, uh, you do a little lamb. <laughs> do you know what a pig looks like? Or <laughs> I drew a sheep. Yes, I know. I yeah, know. I was just. I was, I, I forgot what the animal was. <laughs> you, you forgot the animal. Okay. All right. Good. All right. All right the twins. Twins. Uh, this could be interesting. What do you say, twins? Well, we were wondering why the wife was getting so jealous. And if they were just sleeping together, that seems totally normal to me. So we were thinking of mud wrestling. <laughs> like mud wrestling. <laughs> mud wrestling. Or, or one could have said making bacon. Okay, all right. So you left the door open. The twins left the door open for you, Dave. Okay. So we're gonna go on. What what do we got? We got uh, five. What do we got? Go ahead, Corey. Put it up there. We got uh, five. And what does Dave have? What's Dave have? Let's see what Dave. Has. Nothing. Got the big goose egg. Okay. All right. We're gonna go to round two. Right after this commercial. Some moments are our hallmark moments. For everything else, there's unseasonal greetings. Cards for those not so special moments we all face from time to time. 
like this all too common predicament. Dearest brother, on your birthday, it's time we face the facts. Our sister is smoking hot. And who hasn't needed this classic? I'm so <laughs> sorry, I crop dusted the diaper aisle at a tar- My bad. Or how about, uh, I don't know why they called it a mistrial, it's not like you missed when you shot that guy. And of course, our all-time bestseller, Sorry I Blanked Your Mom. That's unseasonal greeting. And remember, when words and decency fail you, you can always rely on unseasonal greetings. Back to you, Bill. Oh, yeah, you always want to say the right thing with an unseasonal greeting card. Okay, so, uh, Dave and Michael. Uh, Corey, Corey, what did you do? What did you hit, Corey? It wasn't you? Was it not you? <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, I, so. I blame on seasonal uh, greetings. <laughs> Say that. I blame on seasonal <clears throat> greetings, Bill. Okay, so Dave, uh, while we're killing time here, you're going to get to choose first in a minute, okay? Because you All are right. in second place, okay? There I did go. bring okay. something. I found something here for Dana. What, what oh, is that? Thank and you. What is that? This way oh, she can see pig, what a pig, looks, pig like. looks like. Okay. Yes. yes. There you go, Dana. That's right. See? He's, he's, he's <laughs> that's a pig. Can we that's see? Can we see what Dave had there, boys? Can we see? Oh, just one second. Okay. Oh, there it is. There it is. There we, it is. We've all learned something tonight. <laughs> we're, we're gonna see what Dave has. Okay, so that's what a pig looks like, Dana. Okay. All right. Thank you. You know, I gotta tell you, Dave Summers is full of of just pig knowledge too. I'm telling you. All right, so, Shane, are we ready to uh, go get uh, the second card now? Okay, <laughs> the, let's go to, let's go. <laughs> they're, throw, they're throwing things at the glass right now. Okay, all right. All right, so Dave. Let's go over here. It looks weird over there. Okay. All right. Here we go. Uh, everybody plays. Unfortunately for Dave, everybody plays. <laughs> here we go, Dave. Listen up. Save your answer until I talk to you, until I ask you for it. <laughs> oh, the, boy, the boys are, are drinking. <laughs> They're drinking like crazy. <laughs> Take it easy, guys. <laughs> okay. All right. Everybody plays. Here we go. Oh, here we go. The Young Bride. There's a young bride, and she said, I just came back from my honeymoon with my 102-year-old husband. I really, it, it, it really was an experience. There we were in our honeymoon bed, me, my hubby, and his blank. <laughs> okay, now you're, you're a preacher. You're a preacher. Uh, Corey, if you could just move the live stream over just a bit so I can see a little better. Dave's a little cut off Dave, right now. Oh, that's much better. Okay. So, the young bride said, I just came back from my honeymoon with my 102-year-old husband. It really was an experience. There, there we were, in our honeymoon bed, me, my hubby, and his blank. Oh, my goodness. Mike Travis is up there. Kimberly Crookshanks. Carissa's watching. Carissa Rhodes. Okay. Uh, what did Carissa say? Okay, okay there you go. Uh, hey, can, can anybody, does anybody get a feeling that we drink during this? <laughs> this Okay, all right, everybody. Uh, everybody got an answer? A thumbs up for an answer? Okay, I think we're ready to go. All right, Dave, 
Here's your chance to get back in it. You need uh, five to tie, six to win. Five to tie, six to win. The young bride said, I just came back from my honeymoon with my 102-year-old husband. That's an old guy. It really was an experience. There we were in our honeymoon bed. Me, my hubby, and his... 102 young bride. Yeah. It would either be have to be a choice between. Can I give two things you, combined? You, know, uh, you need. I need to take one. your first answer. I need Try to take it. your first answer. Okay, probably either the little blue pill, but I was going to think about Geritol too. But probably the little <laughs> okay. blue pill. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I heard <laughs> little blue pill first because pill. Dave, I'm telling you right now, these kids don't know what Geritol is. So. <laughs> <laughs> So, so it's just me, my hubby, and my little blue pill. <laughs> All right. I'm not I'm not I'm not sure you're gonna win, Dave. <laughs> I may not. But let's, but let's go. And, and you know what? I think I learned a lot about you and Dottie right now. <laughs> All right. All right, Fred. Fred and Sherry Applegate. What do you say? He's looking for a little blue pill. We were going to say. L lawyer. lawyer. <laughs> lawyer. Hey. Oh. We, were, we went with breathing machine. <laughs> a breathing machine. Not even, not even an oxygen tank. A breathing Sorry. machine. <laughs> Ventilator is too hard to spell. Okay. All right. That is not a match. She's looking for a little blue pill. Uh, we're going down to Mary Weiss. Mary Weiss, uh, do you know anything about pharmaceuticals? Uh, more than I care to admit, but <laughs> I guess it <I> did. <laughs> I'm actually kind of on the same page as the Apple Gates. My first thought was, well, 102, probably the night nurse is there with them. Ready? That seems silly, and I went with oxygen tank. Oxygen tank. Oh, that seems to be the, the answer. Uh, Dave, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't think there's any way you can win, but let's see what everybody else said here. Uh, uh, Tyler, what did you say? What did you say? Tyler said nurse. Uh, yeah. That's what I was thinking, too. Uh, George, what did you say, George? Oh, a gallon of Viagra. That would have been a match right there. Right. Dana, Dana said nurse. And what did the twins say? Uh, <laughs> pigs. Nice looking pig. I'm sorry. That's not a match. So, Michael, you're the winner. You're the winner, Michael. I saw you stand up. Shane and Corey, what do, we, what do we have for young Dave? What do we have for Dave? Oh, come on. Come on, boys. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. There it is, oh, Dave. Oh, oh, yeah. Some, something you walk around in, in the farm all day yeah. and every day, right? Yeah. All right, Dave. Well, thanks for thanks for playing the game. Uh, that's round two. So before we go to our second to the last round, Let's see this commercial. Moving? Next to death and divorce, it's the third most stressful thing you'll ever do. But does moving have to be so terrible? With Best Diamond Movers, the answer to that question is a resounding yes. Best Diamond Movers takes a very liberal approach to the definition of the word best. Best Diamond Movers, the worst thing to happen to diamonds since Leonardo DiCaprio. At Best Diamond Movers, they feature strategic vision, interpersonal skill, clean crew, courteous, and well-spoken moving crew. Their website says, Best Diamond Moving and Storage is not your average moving company. And that's true, because if they were average, that would be a major improvement. At Best Diamond Movers, their slogan is Diamond Moving is Forever, and boy, do they mean it. Just ask our friends who hired these ass clowns to move their belongings across town, and now, 30 days later, they still haven't dropped off a single piece of their furniture. That's Best Diamond Movers, and also sometimes Best Diamond Moving and Storage, and it seems like they also go by just Diamond, I guess. Anyway, a moving company by any other name would probably be better. Back to you, Bill. <laughs> okay, all right. That goes out to our friends. Well, well, 
we'll, we'll let you know later. Okay, anyway. Oh, best time in moving. You you don't want to use them. Okay, so now we go. Oh, Michael, you're you're the big time winner. You're the big time winner. So you get to play the second to the last one. Let me come over here. Okay, I'm back. Oh, there we go. Okay, all right. All right, so, Michael, you're going to get to uh, have three uh, of our guest panelists help you. Okay? All right, Daniel? Okay? To this, you're, you're going to have to find a duplicate answer to this. Don't say anything until we hear from the guest panelists. Uh, so, here's a here's, uh, guest panelist. Take a listen. Here it is. Sun blank. Sun blank, and, and it's spelled S-U-N, sun blank. There we go, right there, okay? All right, so, so, Michael, who would you like to help you with the uh, second to the last round? I can't hear you. I can't hear you, Daniel. I think you're muted. Uh, the twins, please. The twins. We're going to start with the twins. The second to the last one. Uh, Marissa and Ian Holmes. Sun blank. What do you say? We're going to go with sunshine. Sunshine. Michael, you say sunshine. Who else, who else would you like to pick? To have a little help from. <laughs> make sure you're make sure you're well nourished, Daniel. None of you could tend to All right. Who else? Uh, Dana. Give it so much thought. Yes. Dana. Dana Powers. Okay, Dana. <laughs> Young Dana. I, I'm sure. You know. I'm sure. Later on in the evening, you know, Ian's going to go, yeah, man, they picked us first. Okay, but anyway, Dana, <laughs> sun blank, what do you say? I'm going to say sunflower. Sun flower. Sunflower. Okay. Okay. So we have sunshine, we have sunflower. Uh, who's the third person you're going to pick, Michael? I didn't hear. <laughs> Who is it? You're not, you're not gonna, you're uh, not gonna Tyler, hurt please. anybody's feelings. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler. Tyler? All right. Did you say Tyler? Okay, Tyler. Tyler Rose. Even though he's wearing a St. Louis hat, we'll let him answer. Tyler, you're the third one here. You got sunshine, you got uh, sunflower, and uh, sun what? Well, I've, uh, 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 given my strong Irish heritage, we're going to say sunscreen. 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 Yeah. Sunscreen. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fun fact, yeah, her family's I... actually from Ireland. Oh, she has family in Ireland. Oh. See, okay. there you go. Okay. Well, it might be the answer she goes with then. Okay, so, Michael, you can use any one of those three answers, or you can come up with an answer totally on your own if you wish. But right now, in no particular order, they've given you sunshine, sunscreen, and sunflower, I believe, is what you have to choose from. What What do you say, Michael? What do you think? Sun. Sunset. She says. Sunset. She wants to go with her own. She wants to go with her own. But she understands that she could have used help, right? Mm. No, I just want to make sure she gets the game because she's never played the game. No, one game the other pull my off. Put it in. Maybe she just thinks she's smarter. No, I know. I just want to make sure that she didn't. She didn't think she had to come up with something different. That's all. So, uh, so Dan, we're still staying with sunset. Sunset for the eat. No, you can. You can. It's a good answer. It's a sure. good answer. It's an equal day, though. Don't let him bully you, Michael. Don't let him bully you. 
He's in the <laughs> super sunset. Super sunset. Okay? Yeah. Right. That's correct. All right. So, uh, Tyler. Uh, not Tyler. <laughs> Corey. That's me. Hi, Tyler. Yeah, yes, How yes, Bill. How you doing, yes. Tyler? Uh, it's been a long night. Uh, Corey. Corey. What is the $1 response? Ooh, sunscreen. That would have been, that would have, been, uh, uh, that would have earned you a dollar. Tyler, or uh, Corey. I don't yes, know Bill. Yes. I, think, I don't Bill, know what why do you I need? think Tyler's back What can there. I do for you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Corey. What's the, what's the $2.50 response? Sunburn. Sunburn. That was a popular one. Okay. And uh, what is the... This is your last chance, Michael, for any kind of money on this show. What is the $5 response? Oh, sunshine. Oh, the twins, the twins went with sunshine, and you didn't go with the twins. So I'm sorry, Michael, you don't win any money this time. Sunblock, okay, Mary had sunblock up there. Oh, uh, Michael, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you didn't win anything, but uh, but but we appreciate you playing the game, and we don't have a uh, we, we don't have a fantastic round, which hasn't happened in about 14 years on this show. So, what? What, Shane? I can't hear you. We were, You know what? We're gonna send you a a Carcera mask as a as a consolation prize. Okay. Uh, you know, um, who who is the sponsor of the fantastic round this this evening, George? Well, I'm so glad you asked, Bill. Tonight's is the answer that you wrote on your card. The same answer as the, as the answer that I wrote on my card. Fantastic round would have been brought to you by Car Serum branded merchandise, the only official merchandise of Car Serum, the award-winning fantasy podcast series that's taking the nation by storm. Are you chilly? Car Serum branded merchandise has the prescription: a comfy hoodie or sweatshirt. Maybe you've run out of clean clothes. Well, Carcera branded merchandise is ready to wear for the go-getter with a full schedule and a full hamper. Maybe you're naked. Then you should pick up some Carcera branded merchandise and heck, send us a selfie and then put on the merchandise. If you're like me, you love Carcera, the award-winning fantasy podcast series that's taking the nation by storm. And you'd love to show your support for that podcast any way you can. Well, friends, it's easy. Simply point your internet web browser to www.carcerumtheseries.com and click on start. That's www.carcerumtheseries.com, the official website for Carcera, the award-winning fantasy podcast series that's taking the nation by storm. Back to you, Bill. Thank you, George. Thank you. If you need Carcera merchandise, for God's sakes, get some on the on the website. Hey, listen, we want to thank uh, 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 Michael. I'm really sorry you didn't. I didn't even win tonight. Uh, but you'll you'll have that nice consolation prize. Dave's kicking himself that he didn't say A instead of B tonight. <laughs> but I want to thank you all for being on the show. Uh, panel, panelists, our guest panelists tonight. We had all this new technology that we were trying out. We hope everybody out there liked it. So uh, we'll, we'll be back next week with a whole new show. George, uh, do we need to do anything else to leave? Tonight's episode is sponsored by Fortaleza, the best goddamn tequila I've ever had. Remember, folks, if the tequila tried to kill you, then I bet you didn't get you any of that sweet and tasty nectar we know is Fortaleza. Would you like to appear on a future episode of Is the Answer That You Wrote On Your Card the same as the answer that I wrote on my card? Simply send a self-addressed stamped envelope to the address listed on your screen. Or email us at contestants at ITAPYWYCPSATATIWOMC.com. This is George Jackson speaking for Is the Answer That You Wrote On Your Card the same as the answer that I wrote on my card? And SSP is Compost Productions Production. In addition to our sponsors, Bill Holmes Wardrobe was furnished by Kmart. Yes, Kmart. We bet you thought we were out of business. Well, you were right. Take it away, Bill.